really sketchy sites but I don't suggest that at all get a doctor please oh, I want all my clothes designer. hey guys welcome back to my channel Don Marie here happy pride month I'm super excited to go to all the events that have to do with pride. Honestly, it's just so fun when it comes this month because we're being celebrated as a community. It just feels good to know that each year we're getting closer and closer to having more people on our side, more allies. It just feels good to know that we are being fought for, not by just us, but cisgender people and people out of the trans experience also. In honor of Pride Month, I decided to go and do a video about things I wish I knew before transitioning. I want to make this video because I knew when I was barely beginning my transition, I wish that I had someone make a video like this. So I knew kind of like what to expect and like what I was kind of getting myself into for the most part. Let me give a moment for the hair because it's looking fucking smashed, honey. <laughs> hey girl. I have a list. I'm old. You guys know I need to look at this for reference. Anyway, don't mind me. Number one, the emotional and mental support you're going to need through it all. If you're transitioning socially and medically, if you are going to start dressing as the gender you're expressing yourself as way before like getting deep into hormones then you're going to have people look at you clock you make faces at you stare at you talk about you you know i've been through it all because i didn't wait i wanted to jump in heels and carry purses and wear these cheap looking synthetic wigs and all this and all that and wear like lots of pink and like I know it's like ironic because I'm wearing pink right now but you know I would wear like pink from head to toe and that's just like a way to get yourself what we consider clocked now clocked is like you're getting figured out basically so um I wouldn't suggest doing that just do like more like neutral casual clothing jeans a top if you have a smaller body frame then sure but for the people who need to soften up and you're more muscle more muscle tone than wear like you know shawls and uh, jackets and stuff like that but you're going to need support for that because it's going to make you feel terrible when you go home after a long day knowing that everyone's talking mess about you it kind of makes you impatient to like kind of get on hormones and get to the point that you want to be especially if you're seeing everyone who's deeper into their transition getting surgeries being on hormones for like a year and a half now softening up trust me your day will come i was one of those people before and it will come trust for the hormone portion you're going to need emotional support because it does change the way your brain works and it changed the way your body works so when i say how your body works i mean like the hormone difference and like you have fat transfer you're starting to get bigger thighs fat transfer to the hips and muscle tone going down what's most important though is the mental portion of it in the beginning you can feel like you're going crazy i do not suggest people to self-medicate because it is very dangerous the reason we have endocrinologists scanning our blood work and our pee and all this is because they need to check the vital organs to make sure that everything is all good. I know that some people in countries and states where they don't allow it will self-medicate and like get hormones off of like really sketchy sites but I don't suggest that at all. Get a doctor please. You're just gonna need an emotional support system because trust me it's not easy. You're gonna wanna fucking blow people's brains out when they fucking piss you off. Um, it might make you feel a little depressed because you're going through a huge change. You're going through a second puberty for that matter, you know, and so it's really tough on you in the beginning, but then your body will start to adjust. The next thing is how many friends slash family members you'll potentially lose. Now, I have personal experience with this because... I had a really good friend that I actually met through my sister and we became good friends like literally brother and sister. I was really scared in the beginning of my transition when I came out to my mom. I was still working at Target. Bitch please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember my Target days. I was staying at his house because you know his family already had a lesbian daughter so they were more like 
knowledgeable on the LGBT and more accepting and more like free spirited people so they allowed me to stay in their house with them for like weeks on end and like I was like shocked and like I still wish I could like repay them but I don't speak to any of them anymore. We'll call him Dylan. Once I started getting deeper into my transition I noticed that our relationship started to change. Dylan switched schools and we stopped talking but he invited me to his graduation. After his graduation and then the birthday dinner after, I had to go somewhere. I think he thinks that I was like ditching him, but long story short, his dad told me that he didn't like the whole trans thing, that it upset him. I've noticed a pattern with that with people in my life, with friends too. I considered him family, so I'm a safe family and friends. I've noticed the female friends that I had when I was identifying as a gay boy kind of got, um, not I don't want to say uncomfortable, but I don't want to say they were comfortable either. They just feel like the person they were once really close with like changed. I understand like the outside appearance is going to change because hormones, feminizing procedures with surgery. I'm still the same person on the inside. I don't think I changed. I think a lot of girls use that as like an excuse. Women see other women naturally as competition where they're competing for like men's attention. Genuinely, I feel like a lot of women just like were like, I don't know you anymore, you know? And I get that. Like it's a lot for someone to take in, especially because being trans was not always like a thing. I'm like one of two, now maybe three, trans people in my city. I was the first male to female transgender in my city so it really I guess like shook people and like naturally as human beings we don't like things that are of the unknown. Now I know like as you get older like friendships die out and like people find their own paths, new friendships and all that but this was like before even that point started. Like early in my transition like people were already being funny towards me. Guy friends that I had, like little acquaintances that were really cool with me and would like shake my hand now wanted nothing to do with me. It like threatened their sexuality and they felt like maybe if they were to be close with me that their guy friends would call them gay or think that they wanted to like fuck me or something. I don't fucking know but you're going to need emotional support for that too because you're potentially going to lose people. Now as for the family you'll lose, your parents might not be accepting of you. Just beware of that. It's a potential thing that could happen. If you think your parents are going to be like aggressive or kick you out or completely disown you for coming out as transgender, then I would suggest you wait till you're 18 to tell them and till you have your own place. The next thing is how hard it may be to navigate through life at times for transgender people. Examples would be jobs, sports, bathroom, bullshit and all that. I think People love to bring up the bathroom situation when it comes to trans people. There's a lot of like people who pretend to be trans or big buff burly men who you know will throw on a wig or not even won't even try honestly will have a full beard and say they're transgender just to get in the girl bath girl's bathroom. Now I get it that's pervertish but a real trans woman is not going to do anything of that sort. Not look over or under the bathroom stalls, not worry about anybody else in the bathroom. All we want to do is use the goddamn bathroom. It's illegal in some states. That's really like emotionally taxing. It's jobs, discrimination against people in the work world. It is really difficult for a non-passable transgender person to get a job in other states because the person could say like, like, oh, you're not qualified or all this, but in reality, they're just being transphobic. But the whole sports thing, the whole thing with everyone right now is that trans people who did not start hormones pre-puberty, specifically towards transgender women, you are not really able to perform on women's sports teams, which I do understand, but that's a whole different video. Another thing is how difficult it is to date as a trans person. I haven't really had much experience or knowledge on how it is for trans men to date because I don't have any trans men friends. Something you have to deal with with men these days is if they're a chaser and they're just using you for your body or they want to experiment. We know that more men are into trans women that actually come out about it because the views are too high on Pornhub, baby, so somebody's lying. You have men who are 
wanting to experiment with you and they don't treat you as a woman they treat you as like this experiment as like this lab experiment and it really hurts your feelings because a lot of them get smart to where they'll like lead you on to believe they actually want something with you but in the end and in reality they actually just want to like use you and for your body behind closed doors for sexual favors and it sucks um and then you have men who are afraid to be with you in public and tell their family and friends about you because they're scared that they might be disowned and people might think they're gay they're scared of what people will think of them so they hide you they don't bring you around they make you feel like you're this big secret and that you're not worthy of being their girlfriend in public only in private be aware of those people ladies there are men out there who will really love you for you and won't care what other people think will hold your hand in public and who will just treat you as the woman you deserve and work so hard to be now another thing and most likely the last thing for now i know there's more but these are the more important ones that i'm mentioning in this video how expensive it is to be a trans woman now a lot of trans women have the advantage in certain states of having insurance that will cover their procedures and their hormones but if you do not have insurance that will cover those it will have to come out of your own pocket and it will be very expensive so hormones are not cheap Okay, surgeries are definitely not cheap. We all know that. A couple thousands each, and you're having to work and save up for those things. On top of that, you know, hair, hair products, skin products, makeup, clothes, shoes, bags, you know, and it's just constantly having to refresh those things and buy them all over again. It really does cost a nice piece of change, especially if you're maintaining all of these things by yourself. And so it gets really expensive if you don't have insurance. And it's just expensive to be a woman in general. Whether you're trans or cisgender, it's expensive to be a woman. And so uh, just be aware that this is something you will have to look forward to. Um, if you're not really high maintenance and you don't really care about none of that, then so be it. But most feminine trans women do really care about these things. So um, make sure you go to school, <laughs> stay in school get a career you know or get a sugar daddy who the fuck knows honestly a lot of trans women these days have sugar daddies and i salute them i'm about to go and seek an arrangement with my goddamn self and get a sugar daddy okay <laughs> yes that is it for this video uh let me know what you guys think of the things that i mentioned in this video also please list some things in the comments and share with the brothers and sisters of the community what other things you faced being a transgender person we would all like to hear i would love to hear i would love to have conversations with you all thank you guys so much for watching all of my socials will be in the description box below my only friends if you want to view that my link will be here on the screen i don't know which way i always have to go back and forth and it'll be in the description box linked as well thank you guys so much for watching happy pride month I love you all. Have a good night or day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.